SweetGeorgiaPam.com is the website for free stuff, to set up stuff with Pam, to be a part of her newsletter, to find her on social media. I mean, it's just, I like the word hub, SweetGeorgiaPam.com. We'll talk more about that here in a minute. How are you, Pam? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. I thought today would might be kind of fun. Uh, it's one of those things okay. uh, where everybody's had these dreams and they probably don't talk about it as much. And that is when they have to go to the bathroom. I find many times... <laughs> That I have had fun. That's gross. (laughs) To pee or poop. There have been dreams where I had this urge in my dream. And then when I woke up, I had to look around and make sure I hadn't. Now there's one time I did. Now, Pam, I'll tell you this really quickly. One time I did pee in the bed after a dream like this. But that was, I'm a kidney transplant recipient. And back in the day when I was sick, um, they had me on a diuretic. And so my, mm-hmm. you know, so I was excreting more fluids than normal. And so whatever yeah. my dream, whatever triggered my dream, oh my I actually, and I was in my thirties when this happened and I was dating somebody and I was at her house. You so are that, making so many people feel so comfortable. So that right was, now. that They're was, like, thank God, <laughs> like somebody and, is going to be talking about this at this level. Of yes. And bless honesty. her heart. Bless her heart. She was, yeah, I call her Florence Nightingale because she was, she was a great nurse through all that uh, drama, physical drama, but, and she was very understanding of the fact that I had just wet her bed like I was a child. But, um, <laughs> but anyway, what do you do? <laughs> Which so might trigger more nightmares. <laughs> so it starts. So I'm starting by being vulnerable and telling this. But no, seriously, yeah. there's a, people who dream about yeah. having to go to the bathroom. What does, what does that mean? Is that just it a physical a very response? Common. It is a very common dream, actually, and it's ju- you know just like the one we talked about the other episode we talked about with sex dreams. Like it's just things that people don't always. That these aren't the dreams people are always going to be sharing. Right. with anybody else <laughs> there's a lot of people going like really it's common like yes yes these are common dream experiences um and absolutely it can be physiological like you just have to pee in the middle of the night and because of the mechanics of sleep your body is in a paralysis state and so your dream imagery picks up the urge for you and projects it into a dream state mm-hmm. but there is also um a whole lot of symbolic significance actually to really you're gonna say elimination dreams i like elimination dreams this is very polite Mm -hmm. um (laughs) so one yes so one one meaning is that it's body signals you just had to go and your dream picked up on it and so there you go but another is it depending on if it's pee or if it's poop you are eliminating toxicity in your life or you are eliminating excess in your life. Huh. So in waking life, if you have indulged in excess recently, you might have a dream. My particular dreams, by the way, are that the the toilets, there's no doors on any of the stalls and all the to- toilets are overflowing. And so I can't find anywhere to go in my dreams. Huh. So excess and toxicity and elimination are the kind of sort of three words that you can play with to see which ones fit in the particular dream that you're talking about because they're all they're all going to be different um and they're all expressing different things. <laughs> you're trying to be ladylike and i really appreciate that um <laughs> well I, i'm gonna look I, well notes- i guess because i guess because my son is eight you know, I have a son who's eight and poop is, is, you know, farts and poops and that's funny. And it's part of conversation all the time. So I don't, I'm not phased by it, but I will say, is there a difference between having to pee in a dream? Cause in my yeah. dreams, there's never, a pl- I can't find the bathroom. Yeah. Um, but I know I got to go. Uh, yeah. and then poop I've had, you know, I've had more pee dreams, but there's definitely been dreams where I had to poop and I couldn't well, find okay. any place. So I wrote down, I'm going to, I know those of you that are listening, you're not going to be able to see it. I yeah, you're trying to show camera, me. I couldn't the camera sh- might be backwards. In fact, if it is, I can't. But anyway. So on YouTube, she's says, trying to show it me. It says, full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not as ladylike as I, as I <laughs> give any credit for. 
Uh, is that right. what it means that I'm full of shit? Somebody in waking life, <gasps> some way, in some way, you are full of shit. <laughs> that is possible. You know, I've, I, I'm, uh, for those who are not on YouTube, I'm brown eyed. And so that's the consistent joke, too. That's been the consistent joke about brown eyed people that were full of shit. What? <laughs> Yes. I've never I've never heard that before. Yes. That's why Engineer. our eyes are brown. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, well, okay. you know, maybe because <laughs> something you're doing is full of shit. You're full of that's, shit. That's hilarious. Um, so that's another layer you can put on it. Okay. So again, with dream work, it's not cut and dry. Every mm -hmm. dream is not gonna be, all right, I had to go poop. That means I'm full of shit. And, right, right, right. And it doesn't fit. So all of this is wrong and doesn't work. It's not how, I just, it's I not wonder, how, it's not how it works. I was wondering if, if, <laughs> I mean, I may be sometimes, but I was wondering if it, you, if you're trying to eliminate solid ways as opposed to liquid ways, does it mean you have more access to do, but obviously it may not have anything to do with the amount of access or, you know, anything that you're trying to get rid of. That's a really good way to think of it. The way that I, what, what came up for me is that urine is clean. Mm. and poop is the stuff that is cleaned out yeah so if it's if it's mm. pee then it could be like clean digestion like i like i've i've already in ingested all of the learning all the nutrients i need to and i'm getting rid of a, a cleaner version of <laughs> shit of a cleaner <laughs> version of waste waste right. is the word then if it's poop, which is like, there's a whole lot I don't need in here. There's some stuff that isn't good for me, that isn't nutrient rich. All of that is what comes out in poop. So mm -hmm. that's a different type of waste dream. Right. So we go real deep with it, or you just had to pee or poop right. when you went to bed and your body is hanging onto it and projecting it into your dream state. I have not had, I was just thinking of elimination too. I don't know if it, does anybody have a dream about vomiting or like the other end? Because I <gasps> normally don't, but I don't know that, if that applies. That literally came up in a dream. Somebody <laughs> shared on TikTok. Did it come like, up? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it came up out, um, all the way out. Um, so vomiting is undigested and rejecting something that you mm. don't want to digest, right? right? Vomiting is going back up the wrong way to get it out so that it doesn't move through your system. So right. if you, I, you know, I'm making these scenarios up, but if you have been exposed to, um, for example, if you've had a rough upbringing, but you are trying to be a cycle breaker in your family and you want to raise your children differently than you were raised, then a vomiting dream might represent uh, reject a way that you are rejecting something that is not agreeing with your system. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It makes sense because yes. if you think about yeah. the biology behind all these processes that we never mm -hmm. want to talk about, but mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a part of our daily life, not the vomiting, hopefully, but the rest of it is, or should be, <laughs> yeah. if it's yeah. not, unless you're on vacation you know, for some. Well, and, and here's <laughs> the other thing too, dreams are funny with their puns, they're punny. And so a lot of times when I'm talking and I realize I'm over talking, I will say, that's just a bunch of word vomit. Like I just vomited all over all these ideas up all over you. <laughs> and mm -hmm. that might result in a, in a dream about throwing up. Right. Right. Just, I just, I'm hanging on to this third idea. So I'm going to put it out there because sure. that's the way my little brain does things it's like oh and 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 <laughs> um I'm thinking about my son who when he was young had the flu for the first time and his experience as a little child of what it what was happening in his body when he was vomiting was very shocking to him and like disturbing of yeah. why is this he literally said why is this happening to me so I can understand it as an adult, but when we have experiences in childhood that uh, where our bodies turn on us in that way, that's an emotional experience. So then later in waking life or later in adult life, when you have an experience that is shocking in that way, it might pull up the memory of when my body turned on me and I threw up. 
mm-hmm. and it might bring up a throwing up dream. So for, for some dreams, if you're throwing up, then it makes me wonder like, how is your body turning on you or what is happening in waking life that is making you feel so disconnected or confused by your body's reactions? That makes that's that's a great point because yes, I'm, for those who don't have children, remember your experience. But my mm-hmm. son had the flu for the first time last year. Same thing where he was like, I, and the fact it took him so long to get over it and everything that was happening, he was not a fan. <laughs> I said, well, yeah. that's you know everybody has the same feeling, son. You know, yeah, but you forget it can be completely confusing, right? But you forget that we've all had that first experience with it. Right. Yes. With all yeah. of it, with all of the bodily things. <laughs> and yeah. um which goes back to when we when I work with somebody with their dream, the first place we start is tell me what your feelings were in the dream about this scenario, right? Because no matter if it's peeing or pooping or toilets that are full or throwing up, I'm always gonna start with what your emotional experience experience was inside the dream because you might say it didn't bother me that the toilets were full it bothered me that there were no doors right or I could have figured that piece out but this is the piece that was really agitating or irritating to me and so then we would dial in on that part of it so in my dreams it's funny you say that and I'm glad that you did because the emotions have a lot to do with how to interpret your dreams as you've taught us Mm -hmm. Um, and most people go into the logical mode of looking at the the just the um description of the dream right they'd talk about the description and not about how they felt where in my dreams about peeing and pooping it's not i'm not disturbed by the fact of needing to and not finding a bathroom is inconvenient but what i'm upset about is it's keeping me from doing something else like gosh do i really have to go to the bathroom before i get to do this and i'm trying to make the judgment call do i go ahead and do whatever it was I'm doing in the dream or going to see whoever I was seeing in the dream, or do I go to the bathroom first? Right. So it's my dreams. It's the, it's the frustration of the series of actions that have to take place. So it's, it's so see that changes the whole memory of the dream. When you talk about focusing on the emotions, fascinating. Right. 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 Yeah. It can help you really figure out what to look up instead of, like you said, just looking at it as text on a page. Right. And and looking up what's important to your waking mind. Yeah. Well, if you're in the car right now listening, then we'll stop talking about having to pee because we don't want you to have to to pee. (laughs) Anytime somebody suggests it, all of a sudden I have to. Um, SweetGeorgiaPam.com is the website that you can go to to find that free guide, Six Nights to Better Dream Recall, to participate in the show. Um, So if if you're one of those people that can't recall their dreams very well and want to, um, Sweet Georgia Pam is her handle on social media. You can DM her anytime. If you're on YouTube watching us, then leave your dream in the comments. And we'd love to use it on the show. DM her, sweet Georgia Pam, because we would love to you have you on the show. And I would love to know that you're out there. So if you do go to any of those social media platforms or whatever, just speak up, say hello, tell us that, you know, where you're from and, and what's going on. Give us a little wave because we'd love to connect with you. And tell your friends, be sure and subscribe to the podcast and tell all your friends about it. Um, And until next time, Pam, thank you. Yeah, sweet dreams, everybody.